first you're gonna start off with one third of a cup of hot sauce and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. This is one and a half tablespoons of the neat egg and one fourth of a cup of water. Two medium sized cauliflower florets chopped up. One tablespoon of nutritional yeast. One fourth of a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning. A half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, garlic, onion, black pepper, cayenne pepper, sea salt, and one cup of all-purpose flour. You want to take your florette and you want to dip it into your batter, which consists of the Dijon mustard, the hot sauce, the neat egg, which is um, a non-dairy binder. You can also use flaxseed if you prefer. I just like the neat egg with this recipe. And then you're going to go ahead and mix that up and you can whisk it with a whisk or you can whisk it with a fork. And you're just going to dip your florette into that batter. When it's evenly coated, then you're going to put it into the flour. Make sure it's all the way covered. And when you're done, it should look just like this. We want to get our cauliflower wings into this oil. You want to use about a fourth of a cup of oil, any oil. I use uh, corn oil. It's a good frying oil, so you want to get a good frying oil. And you can put as many as you want into this fryer. You're going to deep fry them as you would any other fried food. And we're going to make sure they're nice and crispy on one side. And then once they're crispy on one side, we're going to flip them with the fork and have us some nice good tender looking wings. Look at that. I say fry them for about a minute on each side. It depends on how hot your oil is. My oil is on medium but it depends on how you desire your wings to be. If you want them really crispy keep them on for a little bit longer but you don't want them to burn so make sure you're standing close by and keep a watchful eye on them. Look at this southern fried cauliflower. I really love cauliflower because it takes on all the flavor as as meat would if you were to fry up meat. So if you're interested in trying this recipe, please don't forget to hashtag Unconditioned Vegan. And I will see you guys in the next one. And if you guys are interested, I did plate this with some rasta pasta. I'll put the link up above. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!